Today, we're reviewing another great Reposado you should have in your collection. Welcome to the Tequila Collective, my name is Rob, and today we're reviewing a great Reposado that I think you could also start your collection with. If you missed last week's video about El Tesoro Reposado, go check it out, because today's bottle is very similar in many regards. Today, we're going to review a bottle of Siete Leguas Reposado. Aromas I'm getting are citrus, a little bit of orange, some oakiness off the barrel, some cinnamon and some vanilla as well, and then there's a little bit of smoke, which is a little unusual considering I don't often smell that when I try Siete Leguas Reposado. Overall, it smells really nice. It's really inviting. It's not too complex, but you can still tell that it's a well-made tequila. The flavors I'm getting are a really nice orange citrus type flavor, a good amount of cinnamon. There's a nice amount of oakiness, but it's not overwhelmingly oaky. There's some vanilla as well. And then you get a little bit of minerality, a little bit of some vegetalness, but it is just super easy to drink. That's one of the things I love about Siete Leguas is there's almost no burn whatsoever. If anything, there's just a little warming sensation about right here in your chest. It tastes so good. It is so easy to drink. And one of the things I love about visiting the Siete Leguas distillery is eating the cooked agave fresh out of the oven. It is almost honey-like in how it tastes. And I can taste that cooked agave in this Siete Leguas Reposado. It is so good, so sweet. If you ever get a chance to visit the distillery, I hope you do. It is a beautiful place and you'll, you'll get to see what I'm saying in terms of what the cooked agave tastes like. It is so delicious, but you can definitely taste it in the Reposado. So I hope you get an opportunity to try the Siete Leguas Reposado. It is a fantastic bottle. Again, very similar to last week's episode of the El Tesoro Repo, whether you are a beginner just starting your tequila journey, or you're looking for something that is a daily sipper because you're an experienced drinker and you just want something that you can go to regularly that's not very expensive, this bottle is around the $50 price range and it's something you could sip on every single day or you could just enjoy it once in a while, but it is so good, so delicious, and so easy to drink. So I hope you get a chance to try the Siete Leguas Reposado. That's going to do it for this week's episode of the Tequila Collective. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see me review bottles in the future, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comment section which bottles you'd like for me to review next. Also, if you listen to podcasts, please make sure to check out the Tequila Collective podcast. Make sure to find us on Instagram at the underscore Tequila Collective and on TikTok at the Tequila Collective. If you're looking for a list of recommended brands, make sure to check out our website, tequilacollective.club. Thanks again for watching, and as always, follow for more tequila tips.